Greetings and welcome to another edition of Emerging Tech Talk. I'm your host, Dan York. And this week out in San Francisco at the Emerging Communications, or Ecom show, we announced our new platform, tropo.com, for developers to create voice apps in programming languages like Python, Groovy, Ruby, JavaScript, and PHP. Now, at the launch announcement on March 3rd, 2009, uh, Voxeo CEO Jonathan Taylor gave this presentation that you're about to see. If you'd like more information, go to tropo.com, T-R-O-P-O.com, where you can sign up and start developing applications right now. We'll have much more information on this show and throughout the blogs.voxeo.com website. So stay tuned for more info. In the meantime, here's Jonathan's announcement. Now, the technologies that we have offered to the market to date have largely been based on XML telephony standards, specifically voice XML. It was actually 10 years ago yesterday that AT&T, Lucent, and Motorola launched the Voice XML Forum. And Voice XML has been enormously successful since then. I dare say more successful than any other telephony standard before or since. Uh, well over 50% of all enterprise telephony application platform deployments uh, this year and next year will be with the Voice XML platform. Voice XML is ubiquitous within carriers. Pretty much all IVR type self-service applications out there being built with Voice XML. So normally successful. But at the same time, we see a lot of the same things that we saw 10 years ago that really led to the change from proprietary IVR systems and sort of client-server-based IVR systems to web and XML-based systems. And that is that there's a, there's a subtle change going on on the more innovative side of the industry. While enterprises are clearly all about voice XML, we're seeing a swing back towards API, web service, type telephony, and other parts of the market. Frankly, this sounds great to us. We didn't start the company to make it easy to create and deploy applications with XML. We started the company to make it easy to create and deploy any voice application. So what we're launching today is Tropo.com. Tropo makes it extremely easy for people to build voice applications in today uh, five leading programming languages, JavaScript, Ruby, Python, PHP, and Groovy. You can write these apps directly in the languages. We have a very simple and consistent core API across all these platforms. These are four examples of just doing a Hello World application, again, very basic. We've got 12 API elements that define the entire language, so it's very easy to learn. Uh, you've got call control elements on the left, very robust call control. You can build multi-leg applications. We have conferencing applications coming. Uh, you've got user interaction in the top right, ask, say, report. We feature both touch tone and speech driven input, very comfortable interfaces. And then finally, we've got a couple other commands to do logging and interacting with other sessions. It's very easy to provision. This is one of the pages from our site. You basically create the name of the application. You give us a URL where the application resides, or you can upload the application to our servers. You get phone numbers down at the bottom, and away you go. Uh, again, very simple to deploy the applications because everything is a hosted offering in the cloud. We've pre-deployed all the infrastructure. We run all the servers for you. It's accessible via PSDN, SIP, Direct Skype, uh, iNum, Gizmo 5, etc. And you've got inbound and outbound calling. And the whole platform is running on the Voxia voice infrastructure, the same infrastructure that we've used to deploy voice XML for the last 10 years. So it's very scalable. You have access to over 70,000 ports of capacity. It's a very simple business model as well. You know, the Voxia business model to date has been, uh, I call it sort of an exponential version of a cell phone plan. You sign up for a two year contract, you buy a certain amount of minutes every month. We have a monthly minimum, the monthly minimum will start about $500 a month, or we have a prepaid option if you don't want to make a long-term commitment. We're, we're rolling out with a much simpler business model for Trompo. No contracts, no setup costs, no commitment. <coughs> the prices start as low as three cents a minute for use. Uh, we just pre-charge your credit card or your PayPal account in $50 blocks as you use it. It takes five minutes to go from sign up to live appointment. You don't have to talk to a sales guy, there's no NDAs, there's no contracts, etc. <coughs> You do not have to use your Hello Kitty credit card if you prefer. <laughs> use a card. But actually, when I did a Google image search for credit cards, that came up first. It seemed appropriate. So. You get very powerful capabilities, a lot of call control. Uh, you can play and record audio. You can do touch tone or speech entry. You've got built in high quality speech recognition and speech synthesis. You can build mashups with web services very easily. We've incorporated web service capabilities into the platform. And again, soon we're adding conferencing and call recording. Uh, and also a remote API. The current form of Tropo is sort of like Google App Engine. The scripts actually run on our servers. We're going to have a remote version where you can run the scripts on your own servers in the coming months. 
But one of the key things about Propo is that the API is not meant to be the API. The API is meant to be the foundation of frameworks. And we're working with several groups in different languages to create great frameworks. One of them is Adhirjan. We've been working with Jay and Jason, the guys from Adhirjan, for uh, a little over a month now. Uh, they've helped us in the design of Tropo. We've talked a lot about how we're going to integrate Adhirjan with Tropo. And in the coming months, you'll see a, a Tropo version of Adhirjan where you can build an Adhirjan application and run it seamlessly on our hosted infrastructure. Adhirjan's great technology, and we're looking forward to seeing frameworks like this in other languages. We're launching it now uh, in beta. You can go to that URL, you get a $200 usage credit. Everything is free right now during the beta. Um, it'll always be free for use for developers. We're not charging developers at any point. We've done the same thing with our voice XML, uh, voice XML based developer program. It's one of the reasons why I've been so successful. So you can come, you can use minutes, you can make out on calls, you can get DIDs, etc. everything. We don't charge anything for it. When you want to go to production use and when we're out of beta, that's when the costs will kick in, and that's when you also get the $200 usage credit that we're offering to everybody here. We're also paying $100 per sample application. Now, between sort of friends and family and employees, we've actually written over 100 different sample applications in the various libraries that we're supporting, but we'd like to see 100 more. So we're offering $100 per sample application. You know, the basic rules are you need to be able to release it under the MIT license. Um, you need to be able to uh, do something that's a little bit unique. It doesn't have to be a big application. But we'd love to show you more. We'd love to get a sample out from you. We have a tutorial today at 7.30 p.m. in Salon G. Now, just a little bit about Voxeo again. Tropo is just part of the Voxeo family of offerings. We see telephony application development broken up into three groups. XML-based telephony, tool-based telephony, and API-based telephony. We have solutions now that play in each space, very strong solutions. Again, Tropo is our newest product, focused on APIs of Groovy, Groovy, Python, etc. Look forward to working more with everybody for years to come and building great applications on this new service. Thank you.